What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all with another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below, drop a like on the video, follow me on all my socials, links gonna be in the description. Now, today we're gonna talk about why you should never let a woman from your past come back into your life. Look, bro. In any aspect of yourself, in any aspect of your life, why would you look backwards? You see what I'm saying? That's like saying, why would you go back to your old self? So why would you go back to a woman from your past, bro? When you have the abundance mindset, you're only looking forward. You're only trying to see how things can get better. You see what I'm saying? You're not trying to look backwards at things that you've already experienced that are no longer present in your life. Because obviously, it's not meant to be. So when it comes to these women from your past who try to come back into your life, you got to ask yourself some questions. You see what I'm saying? Because most dudes, bro, because, for example, if it's the woman that imprinted you, if it's the woman that broke your heart, if it's some ex that you really couldn't get over, you know what I'm saying? If it's that woman, bro, most dudes will easily let their guard down because they still connected to that woman, you know what I'm saying? So, most dudes, they don't realize that they being manipulated. They don't realize that she's just trying to see if you're still a simp. She's just trying to test and see what she can get out of you. Because you got to realize, bro, these women be miserable, they be self-centered, and they be jealous, so it's like this, bro. You got, because it's like three different reasons, bro. Three different reasons why she may try to come back into your life. Reason number one, she tried to replace you with some other dude or she just went and fell into the streets, you know what I'm saying? But then she may have came to her senses. And so now she's trying to come back to you after she collected all them bodies. After she collected all that baggage, she gonna try to come back to you because she realized that all them dudes just wanted to hit. So once they get what they want, they all out of her life. But she want that security factor that she had when y'all was together. So she trying to fill that void. But these all these other dudes that you trying to fill that void with, they not on that type of timing, bro. So she gonna try to come back to you. As if she didn't pick up them bodies. This is why I say, bro, don't let your guard down. Because understand this, bro. She not the same when y'all from when y'all was dealing with her. When you when from y'all when y'all was dealing with each other, she not the same. She might be running the same game, but when I, when I say she's not the same, what do I mean? Oh, them guts is wider. You see what I'm saying? Oh, them lips been wrapped around other digging sticks. So, why would you allow that back into your life? Why would you believe anything that come out of her mouth? When she said that she was just focusing on herself. When she said that she just had to take time to herself. You know what I'm saying? When she said that she was just going through things. All, or any other BS, why would you believe any of that, bro? Then another aspect is this, because the sweetest revenge that you can get on any woman from your past is just self-improvement. You becoming a better version of yourself. You saying goodbye to that old version of yourself from when you was dealing with that woman and you creating a new version of yourself. Because understand this, bro. If you had a deep connection with a woman and things just didn't work out, nine times out of 10, she keeping tabs on you waiting for that day when you just level up, when you just blow up, whatever the case may be. Then out of nowhere, she just come up out the shadows making it seem like she was here the entire time, like she knew what was gonna happen. But when y'all was rocking with each other, you didn't feel the support, you didn't feel the love. So this is what you gotta realize, bro, when I say that they self-centered. They just trying to see what they can reap. You see what I'm saying? They just trying to see what they can get from you. So when you grinding, when you digging, when you by yourself, when you taking losses, when you ready to give up, when you ready to quit, she's nowhere to be found. But when you pop it, when you on top, when you're leveling up in your life, when you got a new car, when you making more money, you got a better job, whatever the case may be. When your business start popping, when you start blowing up on social media, now she back in your DMs. Now she's sending random pictures to your phone talking about, look at this. But you got to ask yourself, why now? Why is she doing this? You see what I'm saying? But if you've been on your ground, if you've been self-improving, it's like you already know what time it is. So it's laughable. You see what I'm saying? Oh, now that I'm popping, she want to come back. Oh, now that she's been collecting all them bodies, now that she left the streets, she want to come back into my life. What do I look like? You know what I'm saying? This is how you, this is how you got to talk to yourself, bro. What do you look like as a grown man who on your ground, who's self-improving with the abundance mindset? Abundance meaning all these other women in the world. So why on earth would you look back to your ex? Or why would you just look back to any woman from your past? When it's all these women on, on the planet that you ain't never met yet. And now that you're a better version of, this, of yourself, you got access to more women who is much better than this girl from your past. You see what I'm saying? This is how you got to look at it. 
Now, oh, we had history together, so it's going to be easier for us to get back together and we can just pick back up. Then on top of this, bro, some of these dudes, like, they be taking breaks with chicks. You see what I'm saying? They, they might have, like, a they may have been, to been together for a year. They'll take a break. The break could be three months long. They'll come back out of nowhere, start talking to each other, and it's like they still together for a year. Or they might be like, we're a year and three months now. Stop. You a year and three months now, bro? When she went and bounced on some other dude within those three months and came back to you like nothing ever happened? Come on, bro. Open your eyes and stop letting your guard down, bro. And then another reason, bro, <laughs> why these women be trying to come back into your life is because you freaking replaced her. You seven proven in your life, by default, you're going to be attracting more women. So, yeah. So, if you find a replacement for her, not even necessarily that you're just specifically trying to replace her. It's just that you got a new woman in your life. But since you've been leveling up, since you've been improving, since you've been grinding, she's been keeping tabs on you on a low. So, she's so miserable. She's so bitter. She can't find anybody to replace you and the streets don't love her. So, she got to look at you. Oh, if I can't have them, nobody can have them. You know what I'm saying? She's miserable. She's bitter. And women so deceiving. They so decisive, bro. That it's like this. In her mindset, she gonna try to come back into your life. She may try to lure you back into them guts. Like it's all sweet. Like it's all cool. But then when it's like you don't want to leave your chick or to leave the girl that you're dealing with or you just simply just don't want to get back with her or all you want to do is dig her out and then you finally done with her. Now she got a snitch. You see what I'm saying? These are the type of things, bro. This is why you just... Because it's so many different aspects that you can look at it as to why she come back into your life, but none of them are benefiting you. At the bottom, the bottom line is none of them are benefiting you. So why would you waste your time? Why would you waste your energy? Why would you waste your conversation skills? Why would you waste any of these things for a woman in your past? If it didn't work out then, what makes you think it's gonna work out now? Because look at the time frame from when she's trying to come back into your life. You see what I'm saying? You gotta have this mindset. You cannot be the gullible simp who think that she didn't do anything the whole time the child were disconnected. That she just has completely changed. You see what I'm saying? And now she's all in love with you now that you're doing better. Come on, bro. You're better than that. You have to look at these women for who they are. You have to trust her nature. I don't care who she is. She has female nature present within her. So she will try to manipulate you. She will try to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? She will try to lure you into them guts. Just to see who you are. Just to see if you are simp. And just to see what she can get out of you. Do she really care about you? No. Do she really love you? No. Do she really want to get back to you? Do she really want to get back with you? For the sake of y'all building in a relationship. And y'all re-strengthening y'all bond. No. It's just all about the security factor that she'll get. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the free attention and validation that she'll get. The free dates, the money, whatever the case may be. It's all about the things that she can get from you. But how is she adding value into your life? How would you going back to a chick from your past add value to your life? Make your life better. Make your life easier. How? You know what I'm saying? So understand this, bro. These women, when they try to come back, in my honest opinion, I don't think none of I don't think the intentions are ever good. You know what I'm saying? Because women cannot be single. So if you ain't talking to her, if she not with you, if you ain't digging her out, what do you think she's doing? And then when all that type of stuff don't work out, when all that baggage get added, you just supposed to forget about all that, act like it ain't happened? And you're supposed to accept it, huh? Or better yet, you supposed to just stop dealing with who you're dealing with now when she come back into your life. You see what I'm saying? Or you supposed to just allow her to just come back now that you got, now that you having your way with your life and she ain't did nothing. What sense do it make? But most dudes, they be falling for their trap, bro, because they don't really be over a chick for real like they say they are. In open, they over her and stuff like that. But when they go to sleep at night, they still think about it. They still reminiscing about them days. You see what I'm saying? They still looking at pictures. They still got a secret photo gallery of the pictures they took together and stuff like that. Still simped out. Bro, when it just don't work out, you, you got to know when to just call it quits. Understand this. Y'all been, been broke up for some time. You still checking her story. You still got that photo album saved in the camera, bro. Delete them pictures. You see what I'm saying? That be the icing on the cake when you got to delete all the pictures out your camera roll. Like, dang, man, it's over for real now. Do it. You see what I'm saying? And if she try to come back, you just know why. You just know that look. She done probably picked up some baggage. She just see you winning now. Or she see that this new chick who's better than her treat, treat you better than she did. 
So she jealous and she miserable. So end all be all, she don't have no good intentions trying to come back into your life. So you don't let her, you don't give her the time of day, you just laugh it off. At the most, you just figure out one last time. You see what I'm saying? You finally kick her to the curb. At most, that's it. Take her serious? Never. So, bro, please be aware of why these women be coming back into your life and stop being so gullible. Stop thinking that it's all sweet, all cool and fine and dandy when she's trying to come back into your life. And just, you know what I'm saying? Just really be thinking the worst. Not that you're trying to manifest the worst into your life, but just think the worst. Because nine times out of ten, if you just think the worst, bro, you can't get let down. Because if, it finds that, if you find out that the worst was actually the truth, you already suspected it, so it can't let you down. But when you let your guard down completely, feeling like these women have changed, or feeling like she got good intentions, or feeling like things are gonna be different this time, and you just all the way let your guard down, and then you get all the way disappointed, you're gonna be feeling sick. So to prevent all that, just keep your head forward. Focus on all these other women who you've never met yet, who ready for you, bro. Focus on all the things that you can attract into your life if you just keep getting better. You see what I'm saying? Obviously, she came back for a reason. Obviously, you're doing something right. You see what I'm saying? What you was you was just fine without her. You're doing something right because you're trying to come back. So just no stiff arm. Keep doing what you're doing and watch how things just keep coming to you, bro. It's as simple as that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Comment some future suggestions. Subscribe. I'm out.